I was told that I was almost legally blind according to the according to the doctor's machines, you know, to the measurements. But I feel like I can see pretty well. And you know, if you so I think I can see pretty well. I can see to drive. I don't drive at night anymore and I haven't done that in in several years anyway. I can do that if I need to. It's more difficult for me to drive in town because of the lights. The lights kind of strobe or the kind of shiny. But anyway, okay. So I put off cataract surgery. I'm going to need to, to do that. It'll probably be a few months. And uh, there's a 90% chance of, of success. I think this is my, my worst eye, and this is merely my kind of, sort of bad eye. But like I said, I can, I can read a small print at a distance, but there's something I'm gonna have to do. And I can do that whenever I want to. I've just put it off because I don't really see it. It wasn't affecting my lifestyle. And the other eye doctor I go to, the ophthalmologist, he said that I don't need to do this, this, this surgery until it impacts my life. And I don't see it that it's really impacted it. That's why I was surprised for the other doctor to say that, that I was um, almost legally blind. So I, I take Arids too, which you've probably seen advertised as an eye vitamin. I started that a couple of years ago. I take two a day. I've already had the one this morning. Enough about the eyes. The other really big medical news for me is as of, as of um, this week, I'm now officially diabetic. I've crossed from being pre-diabetic to being, it's called a new onset type two diabetes mellitus, or is it mellitus? So I have to start taking metformin, which is um, like the same as glucophage. And my mother and father took that when they were living for for diabetes or to try to control it. So we'll see how that goes. The only problem with it is that it can make you, it can make you lose weight. And I don't need to do that. See, the, and then very quickly, the other things I have was hypo, hyponatremia, which is low sodium. And that's one reason I quit making the, the food videos about three years ago but because of um, nutrition, partly the sugar thing, you know, a lot of the stuff that people make on these, on these uh, food videos is just really unhealthy. But if you, if you look at my videos, I, I was not any big eater. and I didn't need those disgusting hamburgers with a bunch of stuff slithering down the, the side of it. I didn't do, do mukbangs. I don't believe in any of that stuff. So anyway, hyponatremia. So I'm to be, it, it was better for a couple of years. And then last week I got my, my most recent labs and they were bad. I took them fasting, you know, before breakfast. And then they called me later in the day and said I should come back and be tested again because, because the, the sodium was so low and the potassium was so high. And, and uh, either one of those can, one doctor told me some time ago, it can kill you. Trip, it can kill you. So, anyway, I went back that afternoon and it was a little bit better. So, that's the, the sodium thing. And then I have essential hypertension, which is, uh, like high blood pressure, so I take amlodipine besolate for that, but I take the, the lowest dosage. So it's, it's really pretty good, 
my blood pressure is, the last few visits has been really good. What else? Uh, by the way, the, the uh, metformin is also a, a low dosage to start with to see if I have any side effects like weight loss, weight loss and see if it helps to control the sugar. And what's the next one? Pure hypocholesterolemia. Okay, a lot of people have, have a high cholesterol and mine is very well controlled and I take the lowest dosage of, of simvastatin. The other, the other bad thing I mentioned recently was the, oh, what's it called? Hyperkalemia. That's where you have high potassium. And my physician, family physician, recommended me to go to, back to a nephrologist. But he's just going to tell me the same thing about dieting. So I don't really see much reason to do that. But that was something recently that just, well, like last, this week that just came up again. And then finally, I'm, I'm underweight. I'm five feet two and, and 102 pounds. So I don't need to be losing any weight. Right, what's next? Severe osteoporosis. I've had that for quite a few years. I didn't think that, that, that skinny people could get osteoporosis but apparently they can. I didn't think I could get high cholesterol. So just being small doesn't, doesn't uh, save you from any of that. So I have, to get, I have to get Prolia shots. That's every six months, one shot. Not such a big deal. You can't depend on the physician or anybody else or even your your, your parents or your husband or wife. It's like my mom tried to have a special diet for my, for my dad. And he would, he would uh, sneak off and go to his, where his friends hang out during the daytime, whatever place that was, and they'd have a, at the cafe or something, or the, the uh, cotton gin, or the drug store where they had they had some little breakfast and he'd have whatever he wanted to all the delicious and healthy stuff so it's really up to you i could go on about this i'm going to stop here you have a good day and a good week